In this video, we're going to see how we can calculate the most likely value of a random variable or the, uh, the peak of a probability distribution equivalently. Now you might think at first that uh, calculating the most likely value of a probability density function could be done by differentiating the probability density function and setting that equal to zero. However, oftentimes, uh, performing this differentiation is complicated on the probability density function. So instead we'll define something called the log likelihood function, L of X, as the natural logarithm of the probability density function. Sometimes it's defined with a negative sign over here. For our purposes, uh, it won't make too much of a difference. So from the log likelihood function, we can get the maximum likelihood estimate or MLE. Of a random variable. So the most likely value that a random variable is likely to take. This is obtained by solving for the value of X for which the first derivative of the log likelihood function is equal to zero. And this is also the resulting value of X is also called the mode of the distribution. So again, continuing with our example of the one S electron and hydrogen. We like to find the most likely distance from the nucleus that we're going to find this electron. I will find you like her. So this means that if we repeat this measurement a hundred times, the most frequent value that we're going to get is going to be given by the mode. So once again, our radial probability density function for the one S electron was given by this expression. And if we calculate our log likelihood function, by taking the natural logarithm of our probability density function, this is given by the natural log of four over a naught cubed. Plus the natural logarithm of r squared minus two r over a naught. So the uh, e, the natural number e and the logarithm cancel each other out and you're just left with what was in the exponent. So if we take the derivative of our log likelihood function with respect to the variable r, then we get two over r minus two over a naught which has to equal to zero. This is equal to zero. So our maximum likelihood estimate for the radial distance from the nucleus is given by R is equal to A naught. So the Bohr radius gives us the most likely place, uh, the most likely radial distance from the nucleus at which we're going to find the one as electron in hydrogen. And you'll notice that this is smaller than the expectation value we found in the previous video. This is a sign of uh, higher moments of the distribution, which we'll see in the next video.